My life goal is to make a magic FPS game, but the problem is I need custom animations to make this work, and I have no idea how to animate. I pulled out my older, smaller, feebler, and weaker tablet, and I told myself if I can master animation in just seven days, then I will buy another bigger, better, stronger tablet boy as a reward. I opened up Blender and started getting to work. Then couldn't figure out how to use the animation interface in Blender, so I closed it and scrolled through TikTok for the rest of the day in sadness and sorrow. Day two, I woke up and did my morning scroll through YouTube and just so happened to see a video talking about this animation software called Cascador, Cascador, Cascador. Apparently, it's supposed to make you a god animator all with a single click of a button. Instantly, I was sold. Anything that would let me justify my expensive purchases made with money I don't have gets an S++ tier in my book. I downloaded it, and man, did I make a good choice here. Within that first day, I was able to make a real nice, uh, mage idol animation? I quickly was able to get the basics of animation down due to using the software, and I didn't even need to use my drawing tablet money well spent. But then I remembered that right now I needed first person animations, not third person animations. Thanks ADHD. So I looked into getting slash making a pair of arms with a rig only to find Cascador might not serve my needs in this department so well. So I opened a blender and started getting to work. Couldn't figure out how to use blender so I closed it and scrolled through TikTok for the rest of the day pondering my existence. After a two week intermission filled with cinnamon toast crunch, world of warcraft and self pity for not doing what I should be doing, it was time for technically day three. I watched a quick tutorial on how to animate in Blender, and to my surprise, it was just about as easy as Cascador once I figured out how to use the rig's control with Mr. Mannequin. Great plugin if you are doing this in Unreal Engine, by the way. So I started off with the baseline, the idle animation. I was so proud of myself. I thought maybe I can really master this and get to buy this tablet that I probably shouldn't buy. I mean, I really haven't even used my current tablet, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I should, I should probably try using it now. I immediately started working on the walking animation, still not using my tablet, by the way and I had never been more confused in my life. My animation was hot garbage. I thought to myself, wow, bro, you suck. What a hot dumpster trash can you are. You should just go jump off a... As I stood on top of the fire pit, ready to jump in and end it all in a glorious blaze, I realized something. What I needed was reference. I thought, damn bro, I'm a genius. I jumped on Overwatch and looked at a few of the characters and how they do the do and found that those were low key kind of doo doo, so I needed to find another reference to do what I needed to do. This was difficult because ain't nobody got no magic FPS games. But then I remembered Skyrim was a thing. And once I looked into it, I found that the Skyrim animations, well, they kind of suck, but it still helped a bit. And then I remembered Destiny uses a glaive polearm thingy. Then I went back to Overwatch and realized that the animations actually weren't as doo-doo as I thought. I just wasn't looking at the right character. Then finally, after getting all my references together, I played WoW for the rest of the day. At this point, I'm starting to sweat. There's only two days left to master animation if I want to get that sick big boy tablet that I probably don't need except but I still needed at least four more animations to have something somewhat complete. Luckily, my ADHD did some favors and made a few calls and I was able to hyper focus and obsess over the next six hours, creating two more animations, the running and jumping animations. I realized though, I needed to separate the jumping animation into three parts so I could loop it and that's when I got angry and confused because I couldn't make it work by just cutting the animation up. What the f- With no other choices left at my disposal, I got back on the wow. All right, before I fell asleep last night, I looked up some videos on how to loop the jump animation and separate it and do all that. So now I know what I needed to do and how to do it. I think. I got to work and managed to successfully separate all the jump animations to make it work fluently, and all I needed now was an attack animation. And this was surprisingly easy to do, and it was at this moment that I realized I am a god animator. So I put everything into Unreal to make sure it all worked correctly, only to realize that I forgot how to really make it all work correctly. Infuriated with my stupidity, I did the only thing I knew I could do. I logged into World of- I'm uh, just kidding, I'm just kidding. I just copied some stuff around and made it in the most ghetto way possible just to make sure it works. But after getting it to work, I realized there was something missing. My walk animation. Well, I started to make a walk animation and quickly realized I'm trash at animation and couldn't even make a simple walk animation after all this time. There was only one more day left and I was about to give up. With no sick tablet and more money in my bank account, I was a failure.
Today was the last and final day. And I sort of just woke up and realized all I needed to do was add a little bit of wigglies to my idle animation and I was good to go. I was a god animator once again. Just kidding, I'm, I'm still pretty trash. But after a few more weeks of playing with the animation, starting from the beginning and doing everything all over again, I was finally able to come up with some decent animations. The walk, sprint, slide, dash, wall climb, wall run, reload, and attack animations. All of them. I, I redid it. I, I ended up redoing all of them. The first ones were really bad. Now, these new ones aren't super amazing or anything, but for only a few weeks, I'm proud of what I have accomplished. But there is one big lesson that I've really learned from all of this. It's that I didn't need a fancy tablet to learn animation for game development because I literally did all the animations without even touching my tablet that I already had. I'm probably gonna buy the big one anyway because my ADHD won't let me stop assessing about it. So what do you think? Do I deserve to buy the tablet? Leave a comment below saying yes, please. Whew. In all seriousness though, I wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't know this one little secret to game dev. And if you want to know what that is, make sure to click this video here. Okay, love you, bye.